Hi everybody and welcome. My name is Susan and this is my little girl. What's your name? Ariana. Um, and we're going to show you today how to do some found object printing, which is a really fun activity to do at home. Um, Ariana is three. I am a little bit older than three, but you can be anywhere um, in between. You can be really little, you can be really big and still enjoy some fun printing at home. You did have your birthday, didn't you? Yeah. So what you need to do this for this is you need some paper. This can be any sort of paper, sketchbook, kids paper, printer paper. Um, a paint palette can be handy, um, but you can also use a plate or anything plastic to pour the paint on two plastic plates, normal plates. Um, and you need some paints. Um, and these can be, you want yellow? Do you want to start pouring the paint out? You can have all the colours. So you just need a selection of paints. These can be any sorts of paints that you have at home. Kids paints, poster paints are great. Um, and a mixture of colours makes this super duper fun. So we're going to start by just putting some poster paint out onto the paint palette. And the other thing you need is a load of stuff, a load of objects. I can open that one, a load of found objects. So if I open this one for you, my poppet, then you can pour the paint out. So I've got stuff like bubble wrap, I've got um, egg boxes, rolls of sellotape, buttons, random stuff that I don't know what it does from around the house that we're going to use for printing with. This is for putting stuff. It's for sewing, isn't it? Yeah. Sewing. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab a sponge, we're going to dip it in the paint, and then we're going to cover whatever object that we're printing we with. make a yellow one. You can make a yellow one, yeah. So I'm going to get some, shall I do orange? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to get some orange, dab it on my sponge. I'm going to get this bit of bubble wrap and I'm going to dab the paint all over this. So what I'm doing is give an even covering of paint onto whatever object that I'm doing. And then, do you want to help me with this? We can press it down onto our paper. So turn it over press it onto our paper, we press it down really hard and then when we lift it up, you ready? <gasps> Amazing! Look how pretty, let's show you the camera, look how pretty that is, it's created a beautiful pattern. Make another one. Make another one. So what you can do is ink up various different objects and basically grab a bit of paint, sponge it on and then press it down. So do you want to do some yellow with that maybe? Or do you want to put some sponge on? Do you want to paint it onto this? That would be fun. You could do gold or you could do yellow. Amazing. So this is a really fun activity to I do. Do you do it, yes. Yeah. Really good, Pop it. So it's a really fun activity to do and you can start to kind of build up layers. So you could start with light colours in the background, maybe doing something like bubble wrap or even just using a sponge or some screwed up cloth, create a background and then use other objects, things like um, your rolls of tape, you've got buttons here. So if I just do it with my finger, um, I do like to get messy. You can put the paint on and press it down and you can create beautiful patterns. Buttons are really fun to work with. So if you can find some buttons, you can just paint them, press them down and create some really nice little um, I some marks. Messy hands. I know and I've got messy hands. Oops, I'll just wipe those. So you can play with colours, you can play with layers. Elsa is really careful. Buddy. She's really careful, aren't you? Elsa. So this can take you maybe five minutes or you can spend quite a lot of time doing it. You can do loads of different sheets of paper and try loads of different objects. So if, um, if you're little, so if you're this kind of size, you can play with colours, you can experiment with shapes, you can talk and discuss about shapes. But it's a really fun activity to do at home. Is it fun? Yeah, I think it's fun. Yeah. Um, other things that you can do is you can even paint the bottom of your paint pots. You can sponge some paint on there, press it down. Another thing I love to do, let me quickly get some of these, is um, felt tip pens. Felt tip pens have really cool um, circles on the ends. So you can sponge some paint just onto the ends of your felt tips and press those down and get little circles. And you can create little patterns of circles. So, should we show everybody what we've done so far? Should we lift up our work? So, we've got... We've only done a little bit just to demonstrate, but we've got our bubble wrap, we've got our buttons, and then we've got some circles as well. We've got more orange paint coming out now. 
Okay, so have super fun with this. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's a really great activity to do at home. And as, as I said, all you need is I paint. And you can do painting. So you just need paint, few objects, bit of paper. And don't forget to wash your hands and wash up all your stuff afterwards. And if you've borrowed people's stuff, so if you've used somebody's sellotape and you've covered it in paint and printed it down, you've made a bit of a mess, don't forget to wash it up at the end. Okay, so I hope you have super fun with your found object printing. And please do share with me all of the bits of work that you do. Um, and have fun, experiment, play with colour. Take the button. Take the button. Where's the button? Here. Ah. So have fun. So let's say bye-bye, shall we? No. No? Okay, well I'm going to say goodbye. Take care and have fun with your printing. Bye-bye.